In today's video we're going to look at the animation pipeline and why it is so important if you want to create great looking animations. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you want to start out in animation and you don't know where to begin, you don't know what software to get, or maybe you want to start but you feel that the software is going to be so expensive you don't have the money for it well I've got some great news for you I compiled a list of uh, free software it is not pirated copies it's actually freeware so it's made available for free to the public and it uh, it consists of all the software you're going to need especially in the animation pipeline that I'm going to cover today so it covers from script writing software storyboarding uh, recording and mixing of your voiceovers, um, video editing, and 2D and 3D animation software. So if you want a list of software that is free, well, then in the description box below, there's a link. Just click there and I will send it to you. Now, the reason I'm covering the animation pipeline today is because currently the Reillusion has the um, annual animation at works um, contest animation contest and I really want to help you guys to enter and to create great looking animations to stand a better chance of of um, winning and then uh, that's also why I made all my online courses on my website uh, I gave it a 70% discount so go to my website um, I'm going to cover some of it in today's video as well it will really help you so make sure you go check out my website for all the online courses as well now today as I've mentioned we're going to look at the animation pipeline so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a story that is obviously the first thing you're going to need. If you don't have a story, you can't animate a story. Um you, you you don't have an animation to um, to create so you need to write a script so that is the first step is to write a script once you have finished writing your script the second step is you need to create a storyboard now a storyboard is when you basically um, take your script and you draw draw it out visually so that you have um, you can actually look at your animation visually for the first time so there you plan out your character placements inside your scene, uh, your backdrops, uh, your camera movement. Um, you want to fade into black or fade out or all of those kind of things as well as your cinematography, how you want to tell your story visually. So you do all your planning in your storyboard and you draw out your whole script um, as, as if that is what your animation should look like. So the second step is your storyboard. Then the third step is you can now create your characters and your scenes and your props, etc. that you're going to need in your animation. And it doesn't matter what software you are using. And it also doesn't matter if you're doing 2D or 3D animation. This is a step where you can now create your characters. Um, so uh, this is step three. Once your characters is done, the next step is you need to record your voiceover recordings or your voiceover artists. Um, so that is your fourth step. Um, so I have created an online course where um, I show you how you can do it in a bedroom with cheap uh, equipment and how to mix your final um, recording so that it sounds professional. Uh, you don't have to go to a, a professional recording studio you can do it at home so i do have an online course and again it is 70 percent discount at this moment so make sure you go check it out but um the fourth step is you need to record your voiceover artist the fifth step is once you have uh, recorded your uh, voiceovers you can now create your animatic so what is an animatic well basically you import all your storyboard images as well as your voiceover recordings into a video editing software and you build out your animation um, like it is the final product uh, so instead of using an 
animated video clips you use your storyboard images and in this process basically what you do is you sort out your timing especially when it comes to dialogue and interaction between characters uh, you can also now once you've built your animatic you can sit back press play and you can watch your story visually for the first time so you can actually see does does your story work? Does the animation work? Does it flow nicely? Um, is the timing right? Uh, do you need to change the um, the camera movement that you've planned out in your storyboard, in your storyboarding? Um, so all of these things you can now um, see in your animatic, and you can fix any mistakes now. This is the perfect place where you can m fix any mistakes before you go over to animation. So that is your fifth step, uh, your animatic. Step number six is animation. Now your animatic is done and now you can basically start animating your story. So how I do it, I take break my animatic into sh um, small clips. I export the audio of that clip. I import the audio into my animation software and now I animate on top of the audio. So it makes lip syncing so much easier and then also what it does is you can just reference your animatic to make sure the timing is correct and once you have finished animating that clip you export it as a video file you go back to your animatic and you replace the um, the storyboard images with your new animated video and so you take it clip by clip you work through everything and once you have animated all the clips of your animatic basically you have animated your entire um, animation so once you are done with your animation the next step step number seven is you now to do you you now need to do your sound design so sound design is basically if you close your eyes everything that you hear so from your dialogue so obviously your voiceover recordings you have already done uh, you also need to add background music and also sound effects so once that is done you need to mix that as well um, again that um, course that I've mentioned earlier will also show you how you can mix your audio um, so that your animation sounds professional as well so that is sound design um, basically is everything that you hear from background music sound effects voiceover recordings and also the final audio mixing so that is um, the seventh step and then your final step is post-production now this can be different for every situation so post-production is if you want to add special effects that you didn't animate so you want to maybe add different special effects later on uh, you can add your credits at the end um, and if you do 3d animation it's also where you do your color grading to so that your animation looks um, professional and uh, cinematic so it looks just nice so basically that is your animation pipeline and it's very important that you follow it in the sequence in the right um, sequence because if you skip a step or if you move the steps around you're gonna make mistakes and you'll have to start over again and you're gonna lose a lot of time so guys, that is basically it. That is the animation pipeline in a nutshell. It is very summarized, but um, again, I do have an online course that dives much deeper in this and is also 70% discount at this moment. It is how to create your own animation series using Cartoon Animator 4. Um, so there I dive in um, much deeper into the animation pipeline um, and I also provide you with a software um, that you're going to need and so that that um, course will really really help you so guys I hope this video will help you and inspire you to create great animations and also let me know in the comments below will you enter um, this year the animation at work contest um, and yeah, let's support each other and let me know if there's anything else you want me to help you with in the future with future videos. So from me, Eon, I will see you guys next week with another video. So God bless and happy animating.